At first, the girls were very accepting of John. They were so happy for me. That all changed when they found out how he has been violent towards their mother. My own daughters don't want John to be part of the family because they're very jealous of him. There's a new man in their life, and they don't like how he's violent, and they don't like how close we are. Now it's just like they don't accept me as anything. Like, I feel like I'm a complete outsider. They call me gross, scary monster. I feel like it's very hard to be a family when I'm the only one with love for John. John's not going anywhere. He's going to be a part of our family forever. Now, joining the conversation uh, are Lori and Dan's daughters, Ashley and Stephanie. Now, Ashley, let me start with you. You're there. You see what goes on. Uh, what do you? What about this bothers you? Um, my biggest concern with everything is that he's strong. He's a big guy. He has the power to kill my mom if he really wanted to. And my sister is around him a lot, and I don't want her to get hurt. I have two very young children who I'm starting to be scared to have around them when he's there because we don't know what could happen. How do you two get along with John? Do you have a relationship with him? We don't have a we relationship. We don't have one at all. And why not? Uh, we're scared of him. And Ashley, you say that John and Lori sometimes sleep in the same bed. Yes, um, I've heard that, but I didn't obviously see it because I'm not there. Uh-huh. And ha yeah, they have sleepovers. He has his own room at our house. Right. Yeah. When you sleep over his house? I slept over his house one time. And did y'all sleep in the same bed? Yes, once. Yeah. Okay. And um, that, that bothers you guys? They're not like a mother and son. And everybody around can see that. And I feel like she's trying to start from the beginning. Like she's with a five-year-old treating him like a little kid. And he's not. Like he's, a, he's a grown man. She should treat him that way. Dan, what do you think about that? I don't want to say like we're jealous, but I mean, it is kind of resentful to see all the attention that she gives and, and their concerns are valid. I mean, he, he can snap almost at any time. I mean, right. just a couple of days that we've been here, he, we've witnessed it. What's happened since you've been here? He was on the phone with his adoptive parents and he was getting loud. And he told them that if he can't afford where he lives, then he's moving in with us. And I said, no, you're not. And he says, yes, I am. Mom already said I can. And I got upset, so I left the room. She went to grab the phone, and he ripped it out of her hand and grabbed her hair and ended up hurting her. And instead of blaming him, she blamed me for leaving. OK. What do you think about that, John? I felt like it. It was the wrong, thing, the wrong thing to do. I mean, I felt like it was the worst thing I could ever, ever, ever done to her. I felt like it was just like in a split second, I just, just reacted react in a split, that split second. It was like the wrong way. The one thing you said is that you, you lost John once and that you don't want to do that again. And I said to you that I didn't think that you could sabotage this relationship anymore if you tried. You're well-intended, but you're going to have to make some changes and you're going to have to make some changes or this isn't going to work.